Hi everybody! Happy Labor Day and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please let me know what kind of holiday celebrations you had for the day. Um, I'm going to start off by making the bow I made in the preview, which is a really fun fall wreath. I'm going to take a um, fall wreath bow or just fall bow. I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to fold it in half and lay it down into my Bodabra. Now, just in case you're new and you're not familiar with the Bodabra, there's springs underneath here that's going to allow it to automatically adapt to whatever I put in. So I'm going to start with, um, let me see how long this tail is. It is about one, 38 inches long. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Now I've already dovetailed the ends. So, and I want you guys to introduce you guys to Kirk, who is today filming for me, and it's his first time. So if you see anything that you want him to move in closer or do something different, just let me know, or let him know, because <laughs> he'll be reading off the questions. And his, you're, they're in the quarterfinals? Yeah. Your soccer team? Mm -hmm. His soccer team? From, are they from up here in Vail, or are they from Avon or Eagle? Uh, they're in Vail. Vail in Vail. Vail so his Vail soccer team are in the state quarterfinals, which is a pretty <laughs> darn cool. Yeah. So now I'm going to take, let's see how much ribbon am I doing. I got a lot of ribbon here. I'm assuming it's about three yards. Lisa Saline says hi. Oh, Lisa hi, Lisa. Gail. How are you? <laughs> and did you say Gail? Mm -hmm. Hi, Gail. How are you doing? So yeah, mm -hmm. it's three and an eighth yards. Usually I'm pretty good at pre-measuring. Oh my gosh, I've made such a yeah. mess. So, Jeannie Adams says hi as well. Oh, hi, Jeannie. Thank mm -hmm. you for watching. As well as Crystal Jules. Oh, hi, Crystal. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I want to apologize. Normally, I'm so good. So I'm just going to fold it in half, twist, and scrunch down. Oh, and please don't forget to share this live with anybody you know so that they can join us and watch. Um, so I'm just going to fold back and forth, untwist. And I want to apologize because you guys know normally I'm really good about getting back and responding to comments and questions. This week was a little different because you guys all know Vivi, my Siberian Husky. And poor little Vivi was sick on Sunday, so we had to take her to the vet. And it turns out that she has a liver enzyme issue, and then she had to have an ultrasound. So she's going to be okay. But it's been a real hard week for me, so I apologize for not getting back to everybody. So then I have this really pretty, this ribbon is um, a one and a half inch. Oh, I don't think I told you the measure with the ribbon. It's a two and a half inch wide, the burlap one that I put in. And so this is one and a half inches. And I have about, let's see, two and a, 84 inches or two and a third yards. Couldn't have measured that more perfectly. So now I'm just going to twist it and put it in. So, so have you guys had a good Labor Day? Any special things that you've done? I'll fold this back and forth. Rosa Gillen says hi. Oh, hi, Rose. Is it Rosa? Mm -hmm. Hi, thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys spending your Labor Day evening with me. Anchor. <laughs> I'm going to fold back, twist, and twist. It's really pretty simple and the reason that I twist is I want the right because this side of the ribbon is a little bit shinier so I want the right side of the ribbon on the outside of my loop and again the wrong side of the ribbon on the inside of my loop. I'm just going to bring this back here, make one more loop and scrunch that down. Whoops, that's my mini wand. I need my big wand. And scrunch that all down in here. Then I have this really pretty fall pick and pretty little pumpkin pick. Or I guess it's an apple, not a pumpkin. Okay, so I don't know my fruits. So now, scrunch everything down. And I don't, normally we have somebody that can, from Bodabra that comments as we're going to give you guys links. But unfortunately today, it's just me and Kurt. So any questions you have, just write the question in the comments and I will get back to you on it. 
Scarlett says hi. Oh, hi, Scarlett. How are you? I hope you're having a good Labor Day. And just tie that off, tie knot, and just gonna shape it. So just wanna shape the back loops. And bring my tails down here. And I like to shape my loops by just kind of pulling them all apart. And these, this is a really nice wired ribbon. So I'm actually gonna put the pumpkin thing stem in here so you don't see it. And bring these around and just shape this here. And from the UK. Oh, hi, Anne. Is that Anne Ford? Mm -hmm. Anne, I'm still working on it for you. She's trying to find out how to get the Bodabra bow wire in the UK. So I have been asking my suppliers, I think because it's a holiday weekend, everybody's being pretty slow at getting back to me. So I hope you guys like this. This could be great for a door or really simple bow to put on a wreath. So, um, or even as a little mantle piece. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to the next bow. Put this over here and um, grab some of my Bodabra bow wire. Fold it in half. And Anne, it's got to be really late for you over in the UK. <laughs> so I'm going to fold this in half and lay it down into my Bodabra and tuck the ends underneath. And I'm going to, this is a wired ribbon that is nine inches wide. And the piece that we cut here is approximately see it's about 32 inches long so that gives you kind of an idea and you could use tool for this you could use any kind of ribbon I'm just gonna scrunch this and just finding the center scrunching it down into my bow dabra and at the end I'm just gonna tuck this so I have a finished end on top then I'm gonna take this really pretty it's kind of a velvety fabric and now that I've made a total mess, oh, here we go, of my tape measure, it is about 32 inches long, and this is a two inch wide wired ribbon. I'm gonna twist and push that down in here. And I hope you guys all say hi to Kurt, because it's really nice of him to help me out today when I didn't have anybody to film. And we're back here. And now I have another piece of ribbon. And this is a, I believe it's a one inch wide, just sort of a rust colored ribbon. And it's one and a half inches wide. And it is uh, 38 inches long. So all I'm gonna do here is just twist and we're just gonna make some little loops and twist back and forth. Um, and also to let you guys know, next week, Crystal Jewels is gonna be taking my place. We're so excited to have her take over the Facebook Live. It's gonna be really fun and she's so creative. I'm just gonna lay that back in here. And you know what, I have this little piece, I think that'll match perfectly, a burlap that I'm just gonna cut. And it is two and a half, is it two and a half inches? Yes, two and a half inches wide and just two inches. And I'm just going, actually I'm gonna scrunch it this way. Just scrunch that right down into the middle. And take my Bodabra wand. Crystal Jewels asked you if it's Kirk or Kirk. Kirk, K-I-R-K, right, Kirk? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. I hope I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to just pull this through, hold my bow really tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back. It's going to tie a knot. Oops, it's right here. So very very simple 
And also, if you guys happen to be watching on the replay, please make sure you tell me that you're on the replay. So when I go back through, I'll know and I can say hi. Clip that close there. And just kind of separate it. And I'm gonna make this look really pretty in the back. And separate these out here. And I guess this could be a really big hair bow, <laughs> but it makes a really pretty package bow. Uh, Lucinda says hi. Lucinda? Mm -hmm. Hi, Lucinda. Thank you so much for say, saying hi and for watching. It means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. So many of you share and watch every week or watch the replays, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So here's one. I hope you guys like it. Send lots of likes and hearts if you do, because <laughs> you guys know how much I like bows. <laughs> so now I'm going to set this bow aside, and we are going to make another beautiful fall bow. So I'm going to get all of my trash out of the way. Um, so has anybody, did anybody, I haven't heard anything, so did anybody do anything for Labor Day weekend? I would love to know. <laughs> <laughs> And take my bow dabber bow wire, fold it in half. And actually, Anne, um, were you able to check and see if you could purchase the wire on Amazon in the UK? So fold and tuck that under. Now I have a whole bunch of pieces here of different ribbons, but they I'm going to measure one because they're all the same as far as width and length. So these are five inches wide Sherry says i thought five away was a special bow christy wait you thought what five away was a special bow five away maybe mm -hmm. that's an apple an a iphone typo oh okay or a because i'm not sure what five away is okay so maybe somebody can tell me <laughs> <laughs> so and now that's so it's 21 inches by five inches wide so I've already put my bow, Dabra bow wire in and find the center of each of these and just scrunch them down. And so this is going to make a really pretty, this again could be put on a wreath or you could just hang it on your door by, you know, by itself. Lay these down in here. And I have this really pretty burlap with like a lace on it. Mm -hmm. Then we'll put that down in here. And now a little gold that will go with us and put this down in here. And another piece of the burlap lace, lay that down. And I have another, this is just kind of a fun little piece of burlap. It's just a scrap I had the same length or it's still a little bit longer, so better measure. So you are looking at 21 inches and it's a two and a half inch wide little sort of mesh, which I love. I think it's really pretty. And now I have this ribbon here, which is, whoops, where's the end? I've had so many requests to give the measurements, so I'm trying to make sure that I actually do. So this piece of ribbon here is 50 inches long, and I believe it's a two and a half inch wide, but let me double check. Nope, yes, it is two and a half inches. Mm. So, Scarlet fell on the way to church yesterday morning. Oh no, Scarlet, are you okay? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Whoops. Anne could not get any on Amazon, but we'll try again tomorrow. Okay, great. And Anne, I'm still looking into it. Um, like I said, it's been a holiday weekend, and I'm still waiting for the people at our distributor to get back to me and let me know um, exactly where you can purchase it. So I'm not going to give up. Now, I'm taking these are really pretty little burlap flowers. I'm just going to put one in here. And put one going the other way in there, so both of them. And I'm going to kind of just twist up, there we go, the pieces here. And I'm going to put this one in a little closer. There we go. And then now I have, let's see, this ribbon here. Again, most of these are just scraps of ribbon that I had. 
So this one is seven inches wide and it is 19 inches long. So I'm just gonna scrunch this in. I love the difference of the different types of ribbon that we're using because it just gives it a whole different texture and it makes it look a lot more expensive. So now, um, and you know, that's another thing I've been talking to some people. I'll tell you a really good way to make money for the holidays is to make bows or wreaths and then sell them. And I don't know if you guys, whoops, I just gotta move this out of here. There we go. And now bring, bring it up, pull it through my slip knot, hold my bow really tight while it's still in the bodarapra. And Kirk, why don't you look over to your right? You have a visitor, so oh, show, show oh. everybody Vivi. <laughs> Let's, there, we've got Vivi decided to come and join us. No, nope, she's leaving. Nope, My camera goes. shy baby. <laughs> <laughs> so now, you know, pull it out. I'm going to separate the ends. Bring it around to the back of my bow. And just, let's move this out here. Tie it off. And tie a knot. And Crystal just, says, give away for next week's lives, take over, not five away. A live broadcast, you will win a giveaway as a thank you for watching live. Oh, giveaway! <laughs> <laughs> All right, got you now. I figured, I figured it was probably some kind of a funny, um, like, iPhone or Android self-correct type. So, isn't this, like, so pretty? to put on a wreath, and it's really just made of scraps. Actually, this I like it that way better. And it's pretty much just made of scraps. So it costs you nothing. People will think you spent a fortune on it if you admit, if you don't admit that you actually made it. <laughs> so anyway, I'd love to hear your comments. And I'm gonna put this bow aside. Crystal says that's beautiful. Jeannie Adams, that is gorgeous. Thank you, Crystal and Jeannie. I <laughs> loves the burlap flowers. Oh, awesome. Thank <laughs> you, Gail. So now I'm going to put this one aside. And I think I have a cute little hair bow in here to make, which means I'm grabbing my mini. And I'm going to grab my pieces. So what I have here is this is just a, obviously these are just scraps except for the corker which anybody who watches me regularly knows I purchased them already corkscrewed because it's way easier. Um, and if you want the link for that just right corker link and I'll definitely send you the link. So five inches wide and it's two inches long. And I'm going to take a piece of my Bodabra bow wire and fold it in half and lay this into my mini. Now, if you're just joining or you're watching the replay, please let me know. And again, please share the video with anybody you know who might be interested in hair bows or regular bows. Because as you, anybody who's a regular, you know that I'm always doing all different kinds of demos on Monday. Except next Monday when Crystal's going to do them. With her giveaway, not her five away. <laughs> so this is eight inches long and two inches wide. So I'm just going to scrunch it in here. And just again, I'm gonna take the end, I'm just gonna fold it back to give it a pretty finish. And I'm gonna take the corker ribbons and just kinda mix and match those in here and take my mini bodabra wand and someone asked me if you could use the regular wand in the mini you can it fits it's just a little awkward so now i'll take my bodabra bow wire pull it through my slip knot pull it tight while it's still in the mini bodabra bring it out Separate the ends, tie a knot, and tie another knot, 
Whoops. Um, I think somewhere around here, yep, yeah, I have a ponytail holder. So we're just going to tie this. I think I want to do it on this side. Bring this through my ponytail holder and just tie a knot, tie another knot, and clip the ends. And now you have this just really cute little ponytail bow. So, so simple. And people keep telling me how much money they spend on their children's hair bows. And it's crazy to me because it's so simple with the Bodabra. So now I'm going to put this one aside. And let's see what we have. Ooh, we're going to make another fun bow. So I'm going to take out my Bodabra bow wire. And everybody, make sure you watch next week and share on Crystal with lots of comments and lots of likes and love and shares. So we're going to fold this in half. And make it in half. Put this into my Bodabra. And the bow that I'm going to make would be really pretty. It could be a package. It could be for a wreath. It's really simple. So... I have this piece of ribbon and it is, and again, it's a scrap. So everything we're doing today is pretty much from scraps of ribbon. This is 27 inches long and nine, oh, just, it's not quite nine inches. It's made, yeah, it's nine inches wide. So I'm just going to scrunch this down. Anne says good night. Oh, good night, Anne. You mm -hmm. must be exhausted. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Mm -hmm. Scrunch it in. Yeah, it's pretty late over in the UK. It's the middle of the night, pretty mm -hmm. much. Yeah. And then now, that's going to be my back. And then what I'm going to do is take this piece of ribbon that it, this is actually one of our Bodabra ribbons. So if you want to know which one it is or how to buy it, let me know in the comments and I'll get you a link. So it's 33, I started with 33 inches long and it is two and a half inches wide. And um, just in case, I don't like the way this looks here, I'm just gonna clip that. Um, and just in case you're not familiar how to dovetail, I'll show you here really quickly. I'm just gonna fold it and cut from the corner. I mean, from the fold to the edge in a diagonal and that gives you your really great little um, dovetailed ends. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm just gonna lay it down because these are like my tails. And then I have, I think I have three pieces. I do. I have three pieces of this ribbon and it, as you see, I'm kind of a trend here. We're using the same sort of colors. So this is, these are each 10 inches long and we dovetailed the ends and I believe they're two and a half inches. Yep. Two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to find the center and scrunch it in. And do the same thing with this one, fold it in half and scrunch it. And again, and then now, and one of the really cool things, okay, so now I'm going to twist, oh, you're going to want to know how long this is. Um, so this piece here is 54 inches long and it's two and a half inches wide. So I'm just going to start right here with my right side of the ribbon up, twist it and then fold it back. Let's make a bunch of little tiny loops here. Lucy McCannon says she can't see the video. Oh, I'm not sure. can, do you, I can see everything. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. Is it, are we, we are we live? Because sometimes that happens where we aren't live. So let me know. We are live at 51 viewers right now. Wow, that's a lot of viewers, you guys. Thank you. We're gonna get up to 100. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to twist. You guys, thank you. And I, if you're not seeing it, I'm, I'm, we are definitely going to post a replay on Sunday on our Bodabra blog. Because you guys can go to bodabrablog.com. I'm just going to, and we have posts like all the time. 
And I'm actually going to take a little piece of our Bodabra um, mesh ribbon, rhinestone mesh, and just lay that right down there in the center if it wants to stay. And um, now I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and bring it up, pull it through, push down. And also, um, was it Deborah who couldn't see? Um, it's hard to tell. I Lucy. know. I'm sorry? Lucy. Lucy. Lucy, I want to apologize if you're having trouble seeing it. But what I will do is make sure, put in the, I'll go into the comments and give you a link to where you'll be able to watch it. So I'm just tying a knot, double knot it, bring it around, and this is just, I mean, anybody got a present with this kind of a bow on it, they are gonna be so happy. They're not even gonna wanna open up the gift. So let me know what you guys think about this really simple, pretty bow. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I wanna thank everybody so much for taking the time on your Labor Day weekend to watch me and also for sharing the video and for your comments. And again, if you're watching the replay, please let me know. I'll definitely comment back. And last week was a little difficult because I know I promised you guys I would do some Facebook Lives in Vail. But this week, now that Vivi's doing better, we're definitely gonna give mm -hmm. you guys a little back, little, little back view of just Vail. And it's so beautiful here right now. The colors are starting to change the fall colors. So I wanna thank you guys again. Happy Labor Day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.